Hey guys, conceptual grappling here. With UFC 273 fast approaching, there has been a lot of attention towards the fight between Hamzat Kima Ev and Gilbert Burns. Specifically attention has been pointed at Hamzat, as if he can get past Gilbert Burns, he is likely next in line for a title shot. Something I would like to discuss is in reference to Instagram post Barry Robinson made yesterday, which displayed of Hamzat's habit of rhythm stepping. For those who do not know Barry Robinson, he is a well-renowned boxing coach. He has a great Instagram that you should check out where he posts regular breakdowns of combat sports sequences that provide meaningful knowledge to further understand the art. I'll leave his links in the description. This rhythm stepping habit which Hamzat displayed could be a potential exploit that his opponents could look to explore and take advantage of. Rhythm stepping is a very common movement seen at the highest level as well as in beginners. Where fighters unconsciously disrupt their own base, due to habitual footwork patterns. Here is a clip of Barry Robinson explaining the rhythm step. A guy with rhythm, he's better than you, you don't know what to do. When you see this rhythm, when you see him step, when you see him step, you get this rhythm. That's your time to attack. Don't wait, do it with jabs, step in and go to work. But why should you initiate an attack when you see this rhythm step? The answer is simple, the opponent has weakened their base making it difficult to defend against strikes. The moment they do step into the weakened base, they are in no offensive position to attack. Some fighters have a habit of attacking off a rhythm step. If this is recognized in prior film study or during the fight, this is another potential read that can be used in your favor. In any level of fighting, pattern recognition should be something that is drilled into fighters, as if an individual demonstrates a specific rhythm or pattern in their movements, they become predictable. And predictability opens up advantageous possibilities for offense. For example, in this clip Marlon resets multiple times off a rhythm step. This virtually tells his opponent that he has no base with limited mobility, and isn't going to provide any offense for that brief moment. Which Corey recognizes, throwing the spinning will kick, catching Marlon in his weak base to get the finish. Okay, let's look at examples of Hamzat rhythm stepping. In this clip against Li Jingliang, Hamzat gains control of the center and immediately rhythm steps doing so three times before feigning high and shooting in. Similarly against McKee, Hamzat takes the center of the octagon, rhythm stepping prior to shooting in. Against John Phillips, Hamzat again uses the rhythm step prior to initiating offense. This habit of resetting prior to offense is something Hamzat's opponents can definitely take advantage of. With the right study and preparation. Being so common in his fights, it is likely an ingrained habit, that will take specific footwork drills to eliminate. Anyway guys, this was just a short video to discuss a potential exploit that Hamzat's opponents could use against him. Make sure to check out Barry Robinson for more on rhythm stepping and striking in general. Thanks for watching. See you next time.